Hello, how are you? Durut bar shoma, chetorin. In this video, I'm gonna talk about personal endings in Persian, of course. And knowing them is essential if you wanna conjugate verbs. <laughs> which are also known as conjugational endings, are sets of endings that attach to the stem of a verb and help to conjugate it for different grammatical persons. Verb conjugation in Persian is very regular and straightforward. There is no particular way of dealing with regular and irregular in the present and past tenses. All the personal endings are the same in the present and past tenses except for a third singular which doesn't take any endings in past tense. Singular, in other words, past the stem of a verb is the third singular uh, in the past tense as well. Now we're gonna learn Persian personal endings and I'm gonna use the verb khandidan, which means to laugh, as an example. You know how to derive the past stem, right? Because I taught it to you in this video. You just need to drop the an at the end of the infinitive. So, khandid, khandid is the past stem. And for the present stem, you need to find it from dictionaries. Hand is the person stem. Now back to the personal endings. First person singular. Am. Example in a past verb. Khandidam. Bejokosh khandidam. I laughed to his jokes. Example in a person verb. می خندم به جوکاش می خندم I laugh to his jokes Second person singular E Example in a past verb خندیدی چرا خندیدی؟ Why did you laugh? Example in a present verb. می خندی. چرا می خندی؟ Why do you laugh? Third person singular. Okay, it's where the personal ending is different in present and past tenses, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And it's quite simple. For the past tense, you just don't add anything to the past stem uh, but for the present stem there is another thing you need to pay attention to third singular personal ending is different in formal and colloquial language third person singular's conjugational ending for formal language is add and colloquial language is a. Back to our example. Past tense. Khandid. Sara boland khandid. Sara laughed loudly. Present tense. Mi khandad. Formal and mi khande. Informal, colloquial. So if you're talking to your mom, you say Sara Poland Michande. Sara laughs loudly. But if you're speaking in a conference, you need to say Sara Boland Michandat. Personal ending for first person plural is im. Past tense example. Khandidim. ما دیروز تو سینما خندیدیم. 
Yesterday we laughed in the theater. Present tense. Mi khandim. Ma tu sinama mi khandim. We laugh in the theater. Second person plural. Again, here the personal endings are different in formal and colloquial language, but here both in present and past tenses. For the formal one, it's id. For the colloquial one, it's in. Example for past tense. Khandidit. Formal. As in, Dastekam khandidit. At least you laughed. Khandidin. Colloquial. Dastekam khandidin. At least you laughed. And present tense example. Mi khandid. Formal. Dastekam mi khandid. At least you laugh. Mi khandin. Colloquial. Dastekam mi khandin. At least you laugh. Okay, we move to third person plural where the personal ending is different for formal and colloquial language. Again, both in present and past tense. We got add for informal and an for colloquial one. Example for past tense. Khandidand. Formal. Anha taqriban panj daiqe khandidand. They laughed almost for five minutes. Khandidan. Colloquial. Ona taqriban panj daiqe khandidand. They laughed almost for five minutes. Now I'm gonna put all the personal endings together in a chart so that we can review them and you can see all of them along with each other.